WWE 2K22 My GM Mode episode number 6 Our first pay per view of the series We have got Wrestlemania Backlash We are in Boston week 5 of being a general manager in WWE We have got Wrestlemania Backlash our first pay per view You know we have to go big for this Hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode There were two title fights Remember, every title fight we get to watch play out, so this is going to be a long episode. Next episode is going to be really long too, because something extremely mad happens. But I appreciate you guys who have been showing love for the first five episodes. Our first pay-per-view here. If you like what you see, make sure to smash a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. Turn on the bell notifications to get notified when I upload these episodes each and every single day. I appreciate you all guys. Have a fantastic day. And let's get in to the biggest episode of the series to date. Let's go. And WrestleMania Backlash in Boston is here. And this is it. Hey listen. Someone's come up at all special matches. Will cast double this week. And told us some kind of union thing. Sorry about that. Raw has used a power card on us. To double the price of special matches this week. That is not good. I told you Biggie and I really had a laugh. Thanks for pairing us off. We're looking forward to the next tag match. The crowd still loved us even when we didn't get the one. Biggie and I can definitely shake up the tag division with no chance. And the fans can't wait to see your next tag match. I think if Ray and Biggie could be a good matchup. If only there was a tag team championship within the my GM mode. That would be amazing. Sasha Banks says, My friends and family have been waiting to see me compete live in Boston. Boston, you get... WrestleMania Backlash, and you do get Sasha Banks on the card as well. We have two, one opener, two mid cards, one main event, and three promos to do today. And I feel like we know we, where we're going to start. Our main event, we are going to put Randy Orton versus Big E in a title match and a, a brand of pay per view bonus as table. So we do get a pay per view bonus using table. So we're going to a tables match. I feel like that's a mitten there. That's okay, Randy Orton vs Big E, main event in a tables match, Flavorly is 3 to 4, and our opener we're going to have the Sasha Banks vs Gonzalo, or Gonzalo, Ra Raquel Gonzalez for the title match. We've got to be careful because the show is, the price is doubled, and we're going to have that, like Extreme Rules is 40k. We're going to have that as a normal match between Sasha and Raquel. Mid card, who are we putting on? Cena and Austin. Ivar and Rey Mysterio. Our truth and Carbon. Um, I feel like we got to put on Cena and Austin. And we got to put on Cena and Austin in a tables match. But I want to put on Rey Mysterio and Ivar. Because they're good at TLC. Which means our truth and Carbon do not fight this week. Or Bianca and Asuka don't fight. So we gotta think of someone right now. Who you can call it? Um, Bianca can call it Asuka, I guess. What's Asuka? What's stamina levels? So Ray's stamina is really low, actually. So Ray can call it Ivar this week, okay? We're trying to increase a rivalry. I need to change Ivar to a hill or oh, we'll do that next week what is your commissioner goal this week do not put a suka in a match oh wow that is a that is a goal so that means we can't put a suka in it means we can't put bianca in so we gotta do a promo with them so bianca a suka yeah so we're gonna we're gonna have bianca call it a suka Again, so what I'm gonna what what I plan to do is to wonder if a Stone Cold and John Cena rivalry will face whoever is the champion of Randy Orton and a Big E rivalry and whoever holds the belt. Same here, the wonder if a Bianca and a Suka rivalry will face the wonder and whoever has a belt of Sasha Banks versus Raquel Gonzalez. So we have like levels of rivalries right here. Um, I do want to put on. We can't put a Suka in a fight with Bianca. Okay, we can't. Booker T's just here. Um. Happy Carbon versus R Truth seems to be the match to make. And it's a rivalry of a level 3 to 4. And we might make that an extreme rules match. Because they both have good stamina. And a promo. Do we do, do we need a role change? 
Amber Moon has to change the rule. Booker T, can I call someone out? Not really. Ivar and Raymond. What's Ray Mysterio doing this week? He's calling out Ivar. Okay, so Ray Mysterio is calling out Ivar. Bianca is calling out Asuka. Um, we could have a charity to gain some fans because if Booker T do some charity work, next week we'll change Amber Moon to a hill and have Beth call her out. There's a one as well. But I feel like Booker T doing some charity work, getting some fans on. And a popularity boost as well. That is what our show looks like just so far. We got a title between Sasha and Raquel. A normal fight. Ray calls it Ivar to increase the rivalry. Stone Cold Steve Austin fights John Cena in the mud card. Bianca calls it a circuit to increase their rivalry. Uh, our truth fights Happy Carbon in the one on one Extreme Rules. Booker T does some charity work, uh, some charity promo. And then Randy Orton fights Biggie for the Universal Title rematch. Um, so I feel like that's what we're going to go for. Do we have a power card? We unlocked Arena WrestleMania Backlash, so we got to fight in WrestleMania Backlash. It's 40k to fight there. We are out of money already, and we haven't even booked the road. So we're going to book everything, then we'll see. So we are almost 30k over because of everything being double the price. Extreme Rules has got to come down to a tables match. And what we got to do this week is, do we have a power card? We do. Do we schedule a TLC? No. Then we schedule a... I don't know, because it's a thing. Well, I don't want to run three tables matches, you see. Stone Cold and John Cena can be normal. Can this be a TLC at 60k? It's 60k because of the double price. That's really dumb, man. Okay, 106k. So normal, normal, tables, tables. No. So we're going to have a normal between the champions, a tables between Stone Cold and John Cena, normal between Truth and Carbon, and a tables between Orton and Bangy. Tables is a pay-per-view bonus that we get. So you see the optional bonus that we have because they're branded pay-per-view, which means that the reward is um, the show quality is upgraded by plus 9, plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. So the show quality is going to be amazing this week. We are also going to play a power card. Uh, so, we're going to play a free crew booking, we got to save money, so we're going to play a free crew booking, confirm, so we're going to save 5k, so whatever crew booking we give that we pay this week is all free, so the only one we can get is this one here, the backstage crew, but we save 5k on us, so that is okay with me, um, that is what Rob pushed on me this week. Double the cast and put up brass matches. Um, we could do uh, pre matches. Anyone stamina really low is fighting? Ray's not fighting. No, everyone's good. Um, we might put a superstar trading on Beth Spartan as well. Send her away. See if we, we can do with her. See if we can train her up. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to confirm and send her away for two weeks to train. She is not part of this today's show. WrestleMania Backlash is here. 101k we're spending on today's show and what a show it's going to be are we ready wrestlemania backlash is here smackdown let's get it confirm booking so first fight we got sasha banks versus regal it is a regal gonzalez because it is a title match we say that we watch every title match so for wrestlemania backlash this is one episode itself so hopefully you guys do enjoy this two title fights is on two title fights between the women's champions the men's champions we got austin versus cena archer versus happy uh, happy carbon two college and booker t doing some charity work right here so we are going to spectate sasha banks versus raquel gonzalez at wrestlemania backlash and boston as well we love that the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship.
a massive presence in the women's division. Alongside Dakota Kai, Raquel Gonzalez won the first ever Women's Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic and were the first ever NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Raquel Gonzalez, definitely a woman you want in your corner. A true powerhouse of the game physically outmatches everyone she steps into the ring with. Guess what? What? It's boss time! I knew you were going to say that, Michael. Sasha is no longer shy about stealing the spotlight. Well, Sasha's been a top star for quite some time, but the change in attitude earned her her SmackDown Women's Championship, her WrestleMania main event. Despite what I say about her attitude, the boss gets it done in the ring. Introducing the challenger from Rio Grande Valley, Texas, Raquel Gonzalez. And introducing the champion from Boston, Massachusetts, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks. A charged atmosphere as we get set for a SmackDown Women's title match. And we are underway right now. Sasha Banks, you can tell, is a crowd favourite out here. Raquel is the hill, you can tell. But Sasha Banks is a huge fan favourite out here, trying to retain her belt as the champion right now. This is a normal match as well. Sasha up on the top ropes already, waiting for Raquel to get up. Sasha jumping. Oh, Raquel caught her. Raquel, oh, Tombstone. Tombstone? No, it's not. But Sasha with a good reversal right now. I kind of want Sasha to retain champion. But we will see what happens. I'm not going to use the fix the match. Um, power card just yet. Because I only have one. I'll wait until I have several in inventory before I start fixing matches. I'll fix matches just for future rivalries then as well. Or if we give someone a comeback fight, if they get beat, um, we'll fix the match and make sure they get beat. But Raquel right now is just throwing Sasha around the ring like she's a toy. And she is just absolutely giving her some violence. But Sasha right now with a good reversal. Going to the top rope. Raquel thinks about getting up. Sits back down and gets up. But this time Sasha does execute it and pans her down as well. And right now she's get her in a... Brilliant punch in her head, but as you can see, Raquel is the most injured right now in the bottom left. Her icon is yellow as Sasha continues to pound the torso area of Raquel Gonzalez. I really hope that Sasha remains champion after this. The rivalry will, uh, I don't think the rivalry will be complete for another four weeks because it's only at a level three, which means we may have another four weeks of these guards going back and forth. 
with each other to determine who the champion is before we can complete the rivalry. Rivalries do not get complete until they are 4 out of 4 and put on at a pay per view. WrestleMania Backlash is a pay per view right now. And Raquel is really stretching Sasha out. And Sasha's torso is taking a beating right now. Sasha throwing Gonzalez out of the ring right now. Oh my god, Sasha really took it. I'm gonna pause the fight a second. What are some match rules? I thought outside the ring, DQ is on, ring count, ring out, there's no count. Okay, that's fine. So they can't fight it here, that's fine by me. Gonzalez versus Suplex on Sasha Banks right now, and Sasha's torso is taking a massive beating from Gonzalez right now. And she's going for an elbow drop on Sasha's torso, and that really hurt. And Gonzalez is packing up and just throwing her about outside the ring. Oh, and Gonzalez tries to throw inside the ring, but Sasha's head hits off the power. And now Gonzalez picks her up and is walking with her and just pounds her to the ground. Oh, but Sasha with a good reversal right now, and Gonzalez is just a tide turning that Sasha needed to keep her belt right now. She was taking a beating for a couple of minutes from Gonzalez, but Gonzalez reverses Sasha, picks her up, and Sasha's torso was taking a massive beating right now. It is red. Gonzalez does have a finisher on her as well. Are we about to see it? But Sasha reverses whatever Gonzalez's next move was, and Sasha with a face breaker right there. And a quick fire punches to the face of Gonzalez now. Sasha has to try and turn this fight around. She has taken a massive beating, especially to the torso area. And she throws Gonzalez against the oh against the side of the entrance walk, I would guess you call it. I'm not sure what you call those. Oh, and Sasha almost have Gonzalez stunned, but Gonzalez reverses it. And Gonzalez is stunned right now from Sasha's attacks. And Sasha Let's go. We got to see Sasha. We can't really see it from this camera angle right now. Sasha's getting back in the ring right now. Gonzalez follows her in. And let's hope that... Oh my god, a good reversal from Gonzalez. And she's going for a finisher right now. She's got Sasha lined up. Here we go. Sasha with the reversal. Sasha has reversed Gonzalez's finisher. And hit her with clothesline one, clothesline two. And a drop kick. And this is it. Can Sasha reverse this? Had a finisher of her own and finished the fight, but Gonzalez putting on pressure right now. She is punishing Sasha for a reverse on her finisher. Punches after punches. Again, Sasha reverses Gonzalez's finisher. Two finishers Sasha has reversed, and Sasha has now got two, two finishers. She tried to go for one there now, but the rope break saved Gonzalez. She is going for a pun fall right now. A one, two, three. Sasha Banks is still your woman's SmackDown champion after defeating Gonzalez by pin fall. And that was a great fight and raised the rivalry between Banks and Gonzalez up to level 3 now. They still feel to level 4 and then they gotta complete the rivalry. But a 3.5 star rating, or rating for our, main, or our opening fight off WrestleMania Backlash is good. Oh, pardon me. Apologies. Sasha Banks retains her title. Gonzalez wanted an immediate rematch, but Sasha Banks did free you, Gonzalez now. We will have... Uh, Gonzalez call out in a week or two to increase the rivalry to four. Then we may forget about it for a week or two. Rest the girls and then bring them back on the next pay per view to complete the rivalry. And if Sasha follows Gonzalez, Gonzalez might drop way down in my rankings right now. But next up, we've got Rey Mysterio calling out Ivar to increase the rivalry to a three to four. These guys have fought three times, but the rivalry is still a two. 
once this happens next week I gotta change Ivar to a heel but right now we're gonna continue it is a good promo from Rey Mysterio and it does increase the rivalry which is key thing to that mid card one on one tables match Stone Cold Steve Austin versus John Cena heel versus babyface Austin is on a two fight one streak against Cena can he make it free out of free he can it looks like we have a rivalry complete here. Rivalry is not complete. The rivalry didn't even go up. But Stone Cold has free old John Cena. And I said whoever won this rivalry was going to get the next shot at the title. Whenever Randy Orton and Big E's rivalry is up. And it looks like Stone Cold free Owen John Cena is a major part. And Stone Cold Steve Austin getting the number one contender shot for the title. We got Bianca Belair calling it a sucker right now. Three out of four rivalry if this goes good. I went okay. The rivalry did not increase. So we got to think about that from now. Mid card. Our truth versus happy Corbin we have on a one-on-one -on -one normal match. Our truth a fan favorite out here in these woods. I guess happy Corbin a big villain. And happy Corbin is 2-0 and o against our truth the, the rivalry is complete and it was a free star. So that rivalry was not worth taking on any longer. That is rivalry complete between Truth and Happy Carbon. And Carbon is the victorious one. I'm nearly sure he freed Truth, but we gotta look at that. Booker T doing some charity work right now. A good promo from Booker T brings in 5,000 fans to SmackDown. And here it is the main event. The moment we've all been waiting for. Randy RKO Orton versus Big E. One part of New Day versus one part of RK Bro. For the Universal title, the rematch after last week, after the very first week, Randy Orton beat Big E. Big E wanted the rematch. In week two, Big E called Randy Orton out. And week 3 just gone past there now. Big E was on a tag team match of Rey Mysterio against R-Truth and Booker T. When Randy Orton ran in and attacked him and, and increased the rivalry. So the rivalry on this one is red hot between Randy Orton and Big E. And we're going to spectate the fight and spectate the Universal title in the hands of Randy Orton. Let's see if Big E, the fan favourite part of New Day... Can he take back what is his in the title of the hands of Randy Orton? I can't remember if this is a normal match, a tables match, a TLC or Hell in a Cell. I have no idea. I completely forget. We will find out right now. The following contest is a tables match. It's a tables match. As Corey can attest to, Big E's known to have a good time, but now he has a serious side. And it's that serious side that Big E's opponents need to worry about. One of the strongest human beings walking the planet Earth. A multiple-time Intercontinental Champion and a top single star in WWE. The Viper is here. A rare third generation superstar. The Viper possesses greatness 
coursing through his veins. And despite his family legacy, Randy Orton has forged a path of his own as one of WWE's top superstars of all time. If you are wondering why there is no music or anything, I have turned it off to save copyright for Such YouTube. And so Orton's ring entrance seems to be the quietest of everybody. There's just a few boos. Well, Byron, I guarantee you Orton's going to show us tonight that he's much more than that. And we are off for the Universal title. Well, with the Universal Championship up for grabs, history will be written here tonight. So you know we're seeing these competitors at their very best. That rivalry is red hot between these two because of Randy Orton running in and attacking Big E during his tag team match last week. After Randy Orton beating Big E in week one, Big E calling him out in week two, Randy Orton attacking and blindsiding Big E in week 3, these guys get to fight each other again in week 4 with the title on hold and already Randy Orton is putting damage on Big E, he came off the top ropes as well and now he tries to bend him like an armchair. Big E is hurt already as you can see by his health bar flashing orange down the bottom. So the way the health bar works is it starts off all green. The green fades away to orange as you can see in Randy Orton's side. Then once all the green fades away it stays orange like it is Big E's. Once orange fades away it goes black. And then once black fades away it is grey. And once it, if the grey falls up you're knocked out and you can't move and the fight has to be stopped. You knock him out. Big E. Big E. Big E with a power move from Randy Orton and an elbow drop to finish it off. And this is Big E now. Big E is busted open as well at the top of his left eye. This is a bloody affair. And these guys are going to an all out war right now. Big E going up to the top rope after throwing Randy Orton over the shoulder. Big E off the top rope and he flies with a frog splash. This is a tables match as well. The first one to slam his opponent through the table ones. And it looks like Big E wants to finish this off, fight off real quick. And Big E carrying Randy Orton around, but Randy Orton with the reversal right now. And Big E maybe did not like this. Randy Orton, oh a neck snapper, oh my god. Randy Orton might set up a table right now. Randy Orton is rolling out of the ring to grab a table. Big E grabbing Randy Orton, make sure he doesn't grab the table and headbutts his head. Big E gets back in the ring. He's going to set up a ladder as Randy Orton brings the ladder in from outside. Big E sets up a ladder. Randy Orton comes behind him but the ladder collapses. And Randy Orton with a big hook to Big E's face to floor him to the ground. And I can't see this fight going on much longer. There's two ladders in the ring. The first one to set up a ladder. This could be game over. Now Randy Orton with some stomps on the Big E's torso and leg. Randy Orton does have a finisher. But when will we get to see the RKO? Do we get the seed RKO? Randy Orton setting up a ladder. Or setting up the table. RKO onto the table. Could be on right now. He's grabbing Big E. Oh, and a quick little DDT to Big E. And a little bit of fast face punches onto Big E to put some serious damage. And here we go, full mount with his power punches onto Big E. And a foot stamp to finish it off. Randy Orton's going to the top rope. And Randy Orton is going to jump off. What are we going to see? And Randy Orton is going, might be going for the finisher right now. Oh my god. Off a top rope. He does have two finishers in his locker right now. And he's putting serious damage on Big E. Do we get to see it or kill? Oh, he puts Big E on the table. Big E could be in trouble. Randy Orton could defend this title right here. Can Big E reverse it? Randy Orton over the top. And it is game, set, and match. 
Stow, Universal Champion, Randy RKO Orton. And a viewer match written a four star, the rivalry complete between Randy Orton and Big E, which means the rivalry between R2 from uh, Happy Carbon and Randy Orton and Big E is now complete. The story has been written, Randy Orton has defended his belt twice, uh, has defeated Big E twice, defended his belt against him once. Now let's have a look at Raw's WrestleMania Backlash Boston, Massachusetts card. Alexa Bliss versus Tamina once again for the women's title for the second week in a row. Tamina most likely come out on top again. She does. Tamina remains champion. Four star and the rivalry grows again. Uh, Larkin calls out Braun Strowman. They increase their rivalry. An okay promo. A month car fight between Mandy Rose and Nikki Ash. A one on one extreme rules. And Mandy Rose is the one a two star fight, however mediocre. Braun Strowman doing some charity work out here. And OK promo getting raw 5k fans. Braun St Brock Lesnar versus Tyler Breeze on a one on one. No title on the line this time. Last week Brock beat Tyler to remain the champion. This week Brock 4 0s Tyler. And that is the rivalry complete. Tyler and Lesnar are no longer feuding. Fandango, do, Fandango does more charity work. 5k more fans for Raw. And the main event, the tag team tables between Age and Apollo versus Otis and Danny Birch. Age and Apollo have won three out of three matches against Otis and Danny Birch. But can they win when it matters? They cannot. Age and Apollo cruise 4 0 Birch and Otis. And that is the rivalry complete. We opened up a card with a three and a half star rated. Raw opened up with a 4. Our mid card was a 3.5. Their mid card was a 2. Our mid card, second mid card was a 3. Theirs was a 4. Our main event was a 4. While Raw's was a 4. Raw got an amazing book and we got a good. We got a 3, 3, 6, 7, 10. A 15 stars throughout the whole show with a 20. Raw got 8, 12, 16. Um, so the rivalry between Sasha Banks and Gonzalez went to level 3. Mysterio and Ivar went to level 3. There's no rivalry anymore between Austin and Cena. Well, the rivalry didn't go up. No rivalry between Bianca and Asuka didn't go up. The rivalry between Truth or Truth and Happy Carbon and Randy Orton and Big E is complete. So we need to complete the rivalry between Austin and Cena or start a new rivalry because Austin has 3 old Cena and Randy Orton has 2 old Big E. Here we go. A show quality was a C. Our match quality was a B. We gained 201,000 fans off that show and generated 138k profit from the show. Show notes. What a crazy ride. Always sad to see the end of the feud between Carbon and R-Truth. Almost didn't want it to end. Great Smackdown tonight. Good matches. Stone Cold Steve Austin is perfect for table matches. Put him in an R1. Smackdown, you need to give Big E a break for once. Going to force an early retirement if this keeps up. Weren't Amber and Beth starting a rivalry? What happened to that Smackdown? Let them fight. Let them fight. So they want to see Amber, Amber Moon and Beth, the local fighter, fight. We have sent Beth on a two weeks superstar training. Um, So hopefully when she comes back, everything will be increased. And when I say everything, it means her like... Her morale will go up, put her popularity will go up a little bit, but her promo and everything will be uh, very high. I like what Booker T did in that promo. Good to see SmackDown back in that charity cause. Tonight, SmackDown started strong and ended strong. I liked it. Sasha Banks defends the title. Raquel just was not good enough. Big E versus Orton was great. Good fit of classes between them. I think that's over though. I can't see Big E and Orton fighting again. Not for a while. 
Great to see Sasha Banks back in Boston. Crowd was fired up for her. We so we gained two hundred and one thousand fans, nearly a quarter million fans from Macho. You successfully accomplished the goal. What have Raw? Raw have one hundred ninety eight k. So we gained generated more fans and more money this week than Raw. However, it still keeps us second. It keeps us twenty two thousand fans behind Raw. And it doesn't take us money-wise far. Champions still remain the same. Brock and Tamina for Raw. Randy Orton and Sasha Banks for SmackDown for us.